Welcome to the bridge of the Here's to Us. And today on What You Have to Do, we're going from Burnham Harbor here in Chicago. We spent a great night here last night. Had uh, some drinks at a little place called Boat Drinks and uh, some musicians out there playing their trade. It was really cool. So I'm going to just head down to Hammond, which is a distance of about 12 miles, and get in there early and uh, see what Hammond has to offer. We've been there before, so we kind of know, but we'll see what's different from uh, about two years ago. All right, let's go. Looking good, Sam. Uh huh. Right, I can see it. Yeah, so we got a steel pipe here on the side. Keep going straight out. You look perfect. Hang on. Uh, all right, clear now. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> Sam said the wind is his friend, so he's just letting him letting it take him over and around. Sam's looking for traffic. Let's go around to this side. I'm out on the port side. That used to be an airport at one time. You see that tower down there? Migsfield? Oh, Migsfield. It's hard to believe planes used to fly in this close. They're all clear, Sam. Ooh. No traffic. Bugs are, are dive bombing my ears. Right. It's about 8 o'clock, and we are the only ones moving this morning. So we're leaving uh, Chicago back there. And we were in Michigan for several, several weeks. <laughs> and we were in Wisconsin a shorter time, but still, you know, a good amount of time. And in Illinois, we were only there, I guess, a total of three nights. And we are moving on to Indiana. Proceeding down on our last real trip on the Great Lakes. Lake Michigan and we're proceeding down uh, we'll be on the south side of Chicago pretty soon but we're looking out over that way and seeing the promontory point and the Museum of Science and Industry is in that area over there and we will also be going by the entrance 
to the Cal Sag, which we will go to in a few days to start our journey down the river. First planned stop is Joliet, unless we can find another place before that to stop. And uh, the route to Joliet, uh, actually counted it up, there's 50, five zero bridges, eight of which may have to open for us because of our height. So. It'll be an interesting journey, so looking forward to that and getting onto the rivers. A little bit different type of navigation. But kind of a little uh, sadness here to say goodbye to the Great Lakes. Are you gonna cry? No, I'm not gonna cry, oh, okay. but I'm just kinda, I did enjoy the Great Lakes. Yeah. We've been on them for a long time <laughs> since uh, we picked up the boat. We've been on the Great Lakes. Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, Lake Huron, Lake Superior, Lake Michigan. So we'll be saying goodbye to Lake Michigan and enjoying this beautiful day, nice day to remember Lake Michigan by. So getting near the end of our very short journey here, we're coming up on the Calumet Harbor break wall. And we're gonna be going through an opening in that, which Navionics has a plan to do. And uh, there's plenty of water in there. So it's not a big deal. Um, last time we came on the loop, we came from the east side of Lake Michigan, and so we didn't go through this. We went uh, directly to the Hammond Harbor Marina, so a little bit different. But that's where we'll be going over that way when we head down to the river system on the Cal Sag. Did you make that turn? No, I was good. Alright. Got a barge over there moving. Like we're on a collision course. As soon as we got through that opening, we had to contend with that barge and thankfully we have AIS so it told us how to maneuver, or Sam decided how to maneuver around it. It's just, it's just huge. Look how long that is. Coming up on Hammond, Indiana. That is a casino that you're looking at right by the arena. And it's, it's a fun place. It's a fun place to be if you like casinos. If you don't, just go eat at the restaurants. We are successfully docked at Hammond Marina and have a great view of Lake Michigan out there. Right in front of us is the break wall, but we are going to plan to stay here for a few nights and uh, take a look at final provisions that we'll need for heading down the river. Plan that and get a good grasp on transitioning to river waterways. So see you next time on What You Ought To Do.